What's up guys, Joma here from Paces Gaming with your Mountain Dew q and I'm going to be answering some questions you guys got or comments. Uh, and uh, yeah, let's just jump into it, you know. Uh, we have the first one from Steve77. Should 2K have a league mode in-game so the base can use this league limited builds? In my opinion, it will show just how talented the league players are. So I already know what you're talking about. I think this is something we, we mentioned uh, here as players you know, as professionals from the league build, implementing it towards the retail version. I think it will help not only show how talented or skilled we are, but also help other people that are, you know, more like unknowns and uh, have a chance to prove themselves and show how impactful and how talented they can be in the league build. League build is completely different than retail. I promise you that like, it's just a different game mode. Everything changes overall, um, those boost uh, attributes, everything changes, which makes, um, the game completely different you know so yes 2k should have the league mode implemented in retail it will to answer your question it will 100 percent uh help the exposure of the league and the exposure of the players in the league uh to showcase their skills hopefully in the near future it's a kind of complicated question because we don't control that it's more 2k with league um but hopefully man who makes these builds question mark I mean, how is it possible that most of the builds are completely useless <laughs> just to answer your question it's kind of hard. I've never been a part of, but people that make this build, it's kind of like they make the build, which is the league the staff or people that are correlated to the league. It may be past players that are helping. It may be players that play 2K casually. It may be people that don't even play the game, but know the in and out and the algorithms and the programming and all that stuff. So it's a combination of a lot of things. And I know for a fact they get players um, to travel here and there um, to specific spots where they're testing it out, they test the beta, uh, they take their players' inputs on uh, how the builds are and blah, 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 you know? I've never been a part of it, but I'll be honest with you, sometimes I don't even know how they end up, like they end up in the league. Cause like, like you mentioned, um, I totally agree with you. At least one build per position is useless in terms of like nobody's gonna use it in the actual game uh, when, it, when it comes to a, uh, a regular season game or playoff game or whatever the case may be because it's just it's useless, you know, it's way better than that. So I don't think there should be a way where there's five, four, whatever builds there are. Well, one of them nobody uses. I think every build should have a purpose and every build should be used accordingly, depending on the team. If they figure out maybe build, build one works best with build three from shooting guard, with build five from center, with build four from power forward, but that same build cannot work with the other, build. you know what I mean? like. Figure it out, man. Figure out a way to have different builds uh, implemented in the game and every build have an impact where you can use it. I don't think there should be any reason why there should be a build in the game that nobody's going to use. It's just pointless. Um, so, yeah, I agree with you, uh, Roy. Um, we'll see. Again, I'll try my best as I always DM people here and there, but my input is as a player is kind of hard. Uh, it's mostly the league uh, who does the, the builds. Our right, next one is from Max Bollinger. I hope I didn't butcher it. How many championships have you guys won? We definitely only got one. That's a tough one, you know? We only got one. We won it a couple of months ago. Uh, it was a championship run from the, one of the 3v3 tournaments. Uh, we got a trophy to show it, you know? So um, we only got one. Um, me as a player, I got two. I got one with Portland in my first year in the league. And now I got this one with one of the Pacers in my in my fifth year in the league, you know? So I went from one year to year five from the difference between my two championships. It's kind of hard to win this in this league, you know? That's my point. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Um, winning is not easy at all. You, know, you need all five players to be in sync. You need all five players to be talented, um, to do their job, to be professionals. And you also need a little bit of luck, um, which I feel like I've been on the wrong side of things most of the time. You can look at it that way because I'm losing, obviously, but uh, definitely feel like I've been, I've been having some tough luck uh, in the league in terms of like, you know, it's a video game at the other day. It has an algorithm. I contested shot that shouldn't have gone and went in. Maybe um, a player got a foul call uh, on a jump, uh, you know, like a, a board that went over the backboard, a layup that a wide open layup missed, stuff like that, you know, stuff like that shouldn't happen happens uh, because it's a video game and sometimes the algorithm, you know, finds a loophole. So um, I only got two championships to answer your questions. Uh, with the Pacers, I got one. Uh, as a team, we have one. Um, hopefully, more in the future. Jack55, he says, will you create builds content for 2K23? Question mark. Could you create videos with best badge sets for different roles? For example, the best finishing badges set for a lockdown slash big man 
the best shooting badges set for a play shot slash corner shooter. 100%, Jack. I think we always do it and uh, show you guys showed a lot of love. Uh, in the specific terms of, like you say, like finishing badges for, for a lock or shooting badges for a play shot, I think we can get to the specifics. I think we always kind of do, um, but it's more in towards like um, positions in, instead of specific art types. Uh, you're mentioning specific art types. We usually do like best badges for shooting guard, best badges for point guard. We go by position. Uh, I think going by art type makes it a little bit more detailed. Um, we can definitely uh, see if we can want to do it or try it. Uh, it all, it's all up to the staff. I'm just, you know, the knowledge of the game and stuff. Um, but it's a great, great uh, input, I think. I think making badges detailed towards positions, specific art types helps a lot, obviously. You know, you'll figure out uh, specifically what you want to do if you if you're locked down, you want to finish the badges, like you said. Uh, we're still going to we're still going to do our videos and we still do videos that say those things. But I think it just doesn't say maybe in the title, maybe it's not super specific, but there's definitely videos out there. If you go to YouTube right now, Space, Paces Gaming, uh, and you just look at our videos, you're going to see a lot of videos that are answering or giving you the info you need. So stay tuned because we will definitely be making videos, Jack, for sure. We're doing it for you guys, you know. The videos is for you guys so you guys can see what's going on with 2K23, what's going on with the video game because we know you love it. That's it for me. Uh, I'm out, fellas. Peace out.